Might be too loud. It certainly is for Cowbell. I like, I like how they always start off by showing this trailer. And when I saw this trailer, I was like, you know it would be a great battle royale? PSO2. The new Genesis bird. They show the bird. Is there any significance to the bird? I don't know. I don't know. I like when they showed fan art. Uh, this is a quick recap, uh, sorts, of the NGS headline. Diving right into things with the hot information. Have a new October update. Information number one. Showing off the new bouncer class. We got the jet boots and the soaring blades right there. Little new costumes coming up. Those will be in the Star Gem scratch ticket coming up. You got Deidre, our task manager, and all the different various photon arts and combos that you'll be able to do and master and figure out. I mean, it's a very flashy class, of course. Soaring Blades looks like, obviously, uh, long and close range. There's a new Bad Lydia quest uh, type. Using uh, battle triggers that you get from the mission pass and also as uh, rare drops from enemies. You'll be able to fight various enemies for XP and materials for enhancement. There's also a purple Alio Devastators, but you will fight the Gigantix versions of many enemies. The Bujin. Uh, this hand spinner guy right here, I keep forgetting. Uh, Tornado Fists. You get Janagalith. They also show... Uh, I don't know. Nothing. But you get Straga weapons, Gigas types, augments, and other various things. They also show off the Mag Evolution device transformations. And it looks like you'll be able to use any Mag from any character you have. So you have multiple characters. You'll be able to just use those easily. They also show off the Mission Pass. You'll be able to get various stamps and outfits, camos. There's also going to be a new special scratch where you get from the mission pass, you get tickets from the mission pass, weekly bonus rewards. There's also various camos in it. Out in the field, you'll be able to collect various weapon colors. I don't know how many colors there are per weapon, but the weapons act just exactly the same as others, just with a different color, and it also affects not just the visible photon blade on the weapon, but also attacks as well. They added additional waves to mining rig defense, Alio, but it says waves, but they only show, you know, wave seven. So there might be more, more intense raids from wave seven onwards. So maybe there's more waves than that. We got a new aerial defenders with cast parts. I mean, the female doesn't really look like a cast, but it's there. Get your finger snap, get your sit emotes. They also have a heavyweight emote landing, jump, movement, and a uh, Iron Man looking hand boosters. They, have, they show off the Soaring Blade SG Scratch. Of course, shows off the Bouncer class of outfits. They mentioned in the video that this will include the previous uh, SG Scratch ticket items as well. A nice idle animation of floating. You got your Oracle Renewal Collection 4. A bunch of old outfits that they bring back. I think they just really do the... Uh, textures, Holman. At our Halloween themed event, from October 27th to November 24th, which is a weird time. Got all kinds of uh, spooky bats and ghosts floating around. The trees are all purple. Rezzle Forest is said to have uh, dead trees. It's nice. Zyandis here. 
Jandy. She's here with uh, again another another event, another hollow ho- holiday seasonal event. You'll be able to get an an auto mag form ticket from her, as well as the flamel set of weapons, uh, the fire elemental weapons. Look very nice, and they come in at level twenty five, which is really cool. You get your spear, dagger, saber, rifle, machine gun, lancer, and I believe also the uh, something from Bouncer Boots. I didn't, I didn't see it. <laughs> but also uh, two sets of alpha reactors for those who want to uh, collect them as much as possible. Here's the auto mag. You got your region mags in the holiday outfit as well, including Hall- Halloween edition vegetables. Reaper Rappies will be roaming around. And of course, you got your seasonal enemies that will be appearing this time around in Resil Force, and of course, the exploration sectors like usual. Fire Element Flamel series of weapons will actually be a four star this time around, adding extra power. There's even a color variant of the weapon showing them off in the uh, hot blue. Get your Monster Masquerade AC Scratch ticket coming out on the 27th. Suck your best outfit, witch outfit, I a zombie. Rappy outfit. That is the coolest thing ever, though. Those accessories. Suspension emote level 2. Cook emote 2. Dainty stance. Powerful glide. Which is the $90 bonus. Now we come to the operation report where they answer questions that you ask. As it is unclear, please tell us about the roadmap from here on out. Their answer to this question is that they showed off the roadmap for the game released, but they did not show they have not shown off the roadmap since then. So as time goes on, they will make it more apparent where we currently are and what's coming up on their roadmap. The way they go about this question is that they assume that because uh, PSO2 Global got all eight years of content of Classic within a year that uh, we are hungry for more content for NGS as opposed to, you know, they're going really slow. But what they're gonna do after this update in December, which gives us a new region, they said that they will be uh, increasing the updates uh, going forward. They had it set that every six months was going to be a major update. But it sounds like they're going to have smaller updates every month now. Maybe. But we'll see as time goes on and we get closer to the end of the year. This was a nice one. Urgent quests spawn spontaneously, so sometimes I don't make it in time. Could you address this? Such as increasing the spawn rate. They wanted it to be spontaneous, so they took away our calendar. But as time goes on, after this update, after this maintenance, they're going to have a calendar for the first week of new urgent quests. And then after that first week, after that first week, they'll have a higher frequency of urgent quests. But there will no longer be a calendar. I have a weapon or armor that I like, but I don't feel like enhancing it until there's a drop with a preset skill. Are there any plans to implement a transfer function? This is something I really wanted because I feel the same way. It just got to a point where I would get a weapon and then just upgrade it because you know what? Who knows if I'll ever get a transfer skill. So they are working on this to be able to transfer the preset skills from one weapon to another, but it looks like they're going to keep it within the same name. So a thesis sword to another thesis sword, as an example. This will also include the new color variant weapons that they're adding in to be able to transfer uh, your preset skills and augments to that. So this is really exciting. I'm glad that this was uh, considered and is already being implemented for the future. Some nice players tell others via Blight Rounds, but it would be great if gathering materials such as minerals and vegetables were easier to find. They are already going to implement something like this coming up 
It's going to be rolled into the mag sonar function, is what it looks like. You'll also be able to specify what you want to look for, where it's minerals or vegetables, even red boxes, he points out. So well, that's pretty cool. Discriminatory remarks appear in the chat or via symbol arts, and they make me very uncomfortable. But we'll be able to fine-tune display options for remarks made by other players. They're working on this setup also, and it should be uh, available to us. Actually, what he says here is after this maintenance, which is great. So right now, we'll be able to fine-tune it. He says that we'll be able to, say, turn off symbol art in general chat or in party chat or alliance chat or turn it on in those various functions so uh, or, or turn off general chat so uh, when it goes online that'd be fun to see obviously that'd be great for all these uh vtubers that they are always sponsoring If you have any more feedback or questions, you can send it to them through this hashtag on Twitter, NGS Headline. There'll also be a new survey coming out around the end of October about your thoughts. So go ahead and send it. And here's a new trailer for the new area coming up. Not till December. And I'm only going to show a little bit. Don't worry about it. You got this nice expansive desert area full of sand. You got a pyramid. You got some camel thingies. You got a beautiful skyline. You got a new city. All kinds of great stuff. These crazy looking uh, alternate monsters. And then we got satellite information. If you want to see the full trailer, uh, I got a link below. I recommend you see that. I don't want to spoil it because it, it, it just looks cool. Go, go and watch that. We got our satellite information here. This is basically just a little recap about the Bouncer Celebration Campaign. So we're holding a campaign to celebrate the release of the new Bouncer class. Limited time task to get a new Augment Capsule. Recommended for Bouncers and a campaign where players can receive a SG-50 ticket by using items like a Salon Free Pass in the Salon. Of course, everybody's going to use that, right? Moreover, purchase 500 AC or more during the period and receive an and color change pass. There's an ARCS training program, ARCS support giveaway campaign, and AC purchase campaign. That's starting on October 13th, next week. Next, after next maintenance. There's also the 9 million ARCS worldwide celebration a giveaway campaign. Make sure you post the keywords, congrats, 9M ARCS in-game chat during the campaign period to receive SG-100 ticket. It's also uh, case sensitive, so it has to have the capital C M Arts and the underscores. There's also a 9 million AC total Twitter giveaway. 900 users will be randomly selected and given a AC 10,000 ticket. That is equal to $100 American at least. And all you got to do is uh, simple, just tweet with a special hashtag, which is congrats, 9 million arcs during the campaign period, which is currently going on right now. Don't really have to uh, add anything else, but uh, screenshots are always nice. There's also the Celebration Boost event from, they don't put the date on this, but I think the rare drop rate 50% has ended. And the EXP earned 20% boost has started after this maintenance. There's also a 9 million ARCs worldwide celebration item set available for purchase. Limited items, limited time item set to be available for purchase during the campaign, but they haven't shown that at all. What's really cool is between October 13th and November 3rd, if you log in between any of that time, you'll be given a free end mission pass gold as a gift. So. The first mission pass is on the house. That would really, you know, that's, that's really to get uh, the people back in the game and playing. I'm pretty sure all objectives will probably be NGS based. I mean, I can't imagine them going back to classic, but that's still pretty neat. That's really awesome. That's 200, 200 star gems before. I don't know how much it would cost normally, but we'll find out next week. And of course, finally, we got our Halloween Fiesta 
going on a new Genesis, which is still really weird to be starting off on the 27th. The last few days, last four days of October. The big event with awesome items is coming and includes many campaigns such as a web event, a web link panel event, Halloween login bonus, screenshot submissions. Remember, this probably can't use uh, third party scratch tickets like scratch ticket items like Konosuba and Nier Automa. Halloween mission campaign, join an alliance campaign. My alliance is always available. Blazing Cowbell. We all get to play together and whatever. And what I mean, we, it's just, and then also team play. Boy, do I like Halloween stuff. That's it for this NGS headline. Uh, you can't see it because my big old floating head's in the way, but the next episode will be on November 2nd. Again, with our good buddy here, Hito. All right. Uh, poor guy, apparently, uh, fell and broke his arm just before recording this video. I don't think he even a chair to sit on. I hope he gets like a real gnarly cast and they, you know, everybody signs it. They have, they, and somebody draws an arc symbol on, on it. I tried to recap and condense as much as I could into this thing. I mean, it's a 41 minute, 436 minutes. I think I did like a one third job. Cause it's 36 minutes and then I brought it down to uh, 12. I, I didn't I didn't go over 100% everything, but if you want to, the I will shortly be updating the website and you'll be able to get more in-depth look at the outfits, the various scratch tickets, uh, any, and any upcoming event, but I pretty much covered it. So that's going to be it for me here. Uh, I'm Mighty More Cowbell. You guys have yourselves a good one. And I'll see you out there in Central City.